Hello and welcome to this presentation on Duplicate Detection in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. My name is David Mockery and I'm a CRM consultant with Adaptable Solutions in Auckland, New Zealand. Adaptable Solutions is a Microsoft partner and specialises in Microsoft AX, SL and CRM solutions. Now, Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 is a bit of a mouthful, so for brevity I will just refer to it as CRM for the rest of this presentation. So, what is duplicate detection anyway? Well, in any CRM, duplicate records can compromise the effectiveness of the system. You end up including people twice in marketing campaigns, updating one record and not another when customer data changes, etc, etc. Duplicate detection is an automated way for CRM to find duplicate records so you can fix them. So how does it work in CRM? I'd like to start by showing you CRM actually detecting a duplicate and work back from there. That way, it may make more sense when I'm demonstrating how to configure the settings for duplicate detection in CRM. I'm in CRM looking at a list of accounts. For those of you not familiar with the terminology of CRM, an account is simply an organization, typically a company, with which your organization has some sort of relationship. As you can see, I already have an account in here called Acme Rail 123. So I'll select New and try to enter a new account with the same name. I'll save this. And as you can see, the duplicates detected window appears automatically and tells me I have one potential duplicate. It tells me it is an account record and the number of potential duplicates found. The onus is on the user to accept or reject the duplicate warning. If the user clicks save record, they are ignoring the duplicate warning as they must think that the record is in fact not a duplicate, despite the fact that key pieces of data, in this case the account name, are the same as an existing record. If the user clicks cancel, they're taken back to the record they were trying to input and they can then close that window without saving the record and therefore avoid adding the duplicate into CRM. I'll do that here. Now that we've seen duplicate detection in action, I'd like to show you how CRM decides what duplicate rules to apply and how you can change those rules to suit your particular business. In CRM, go to the settings area in the left-hand navigation menu. Select data management, which is in the system group. This brings up a window which includes three duplicate detection items, settings, rules, and jobs. Let's look at each of these in turn. The duplicate detection settings allow you to turn duplicate detection on or off entirely, and if you do turn it on, it lets you specify in what situations you want it to run. CRM can perform duplicate detection in three different situations. When a record is created or updated, we saw this earlier when I tried to load Acme Rail 123. When going from offline to online, CRM is a feature which allows users to copy all or some data from CRM to their local device when they have no connection to their CRM. They may enter data when offline and setting this will automatically trigger duplicate detection when the user comes back online. And thirdly, during data import. CRM has a powerful data importing capability and you can set here if you want duplicates to be detected when importing. Next are the duplicate detection rules themselves. Duplicate detection rules tell CRM what criteria to apply when finding duplicates. As you can see here, we have a number of duplicate rules covering a number of different record types. You can have as many or as few duplicate detection rules as you like, and you can have multiple rules per record type up to a maximum of five. As you can see here, we have two for the account entity, one to check for accounts with the same name, and one for accounts with the same email address. A few duplicate detection rules come preloaded to CRM when you install it. You can then change or add to those rules as you please. So let's take a look at how you set up a new duplicate detection rule. Click New, and this opens the new duplicate detection rule window. The first thing to decide is what name to give the rule. I'll be checking here for accounts with the same phone number. So I'll simply call it Accounts with the same phone you can optionally give your rule a description. I'll leave that blank for now. Next, we come to the criteria for the rule itself. Firstly, we need to define the base record type. 
That is, what type of record are we going to be checking for duplicates in? Well, in this example, we're checking for accounts with the same phone number. So I select account in here. Next, we have to decide what record type we are matching against. I'm matching against other accounts. And CRM has auto-selected that in here. I can decide if the rule is going to be case sensitive or not. This would obviously only apply to text fields. It would have no relevance if we were using, say, a date field for matching duplicates. Even though I'm using a text field in this example, I'll leave it blank here. I can also decide whether or not to exclude inactive matching records. I'm going to leave that blank too. Next, I have to select the fields to match on. In the account entity, the phone number is called main phone. So I'll select that field. Then I have to select the criteria to match on. CRM gives me the option of finding only exact matches or matches based on the same first characters or same last characters. In this case, I'm just going to keep it simple and select exact match. It's worth pointing out here that the criteria for matching duplicates depends on the type of field selected. Main phone is a text field. So I got the option of exact match, same first characters, or same last characters. However, if I had picked, say, modified on, i.e. when the record was last modified, that's a date field, I would have been given the option of same date or same date and time, as you can see here. There are a number of other different field types, and specific criteria will apply to each type. So let me just change this back to main phone for the moment, and exact match. Now I have the option of setting multiple conditions for a rule. Please note every condition has to be met for the rule to find a duplicate. So if I selected another condition that had the account name, say, had to be exactly the same, then it would only find a duplicate record if the phone number and the account name were the same. In this case though, I'm only going to have one criteria. Now you may have noticed this ignore blank value tick box over here. This is a little bit tricky to explain and is probably outside the scope of this presentation. Typically, you'd leave it blank. So now I go ahead and save my rule. And I see it here in, in the list of all the other rules. You'll notice that it's unpublished. In order to get it to work, I need to publish it. To do that, I simply highlight the rule and I click Publish. Click OK and you'll see it's turned to Publishing and there our rule has become published. So let's test out our new rule. I'll go back to the accounts and select new. I'll just move this window over slightly. Let's make it a little smaller first and move it over here. So we're testing the rule which says that if you have more than one account in the system with the same phone number it should return a duplicate. So I'll put in an account name, I'll just call it uh, test account, how does that sound? And in the main phone, I'll make it the same as Acme Real 123. So it's 555-1212. So if I save and close that, the duplicate detected window appears. So I'm going to heed this warning and I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to change this to 555-1213. I realized I put in the wrong phone number. So now I save and close that and it saves and closes fine. So that's how you set up a duplicate detection rule and what it does to help you stop putting duplicates into CRM. The next thing I'd like to discuss is duplicate detection jobs. Now a duplicate detection job is a bulk job that you can run which will do a check for duplicates from records already in CRM. So this isn't where you're putting in a new record but you think you might have duplicates in there already so you'd run a duplicate detection job. So to run a duplicate detection job we go back to the duplicate detection area of the system down in settings and I select duplicate detection jobs, not surprisingly. I select new and a short explanation window appears and I click next. I then need to specify what entity I want to run the duplicate detection on. It defaults to accounts, but I can change it by selecting the drop down list. But this one is just for accounts, so I'm going to leave it as that. I then specify which records for the account entity I want to run the job on. I do that by selecting conditions in this window here, or by using an already existing system view. If you've used the advanced find functionality in CRM, you'll be familiar with this screen. I'm going to select only active accounts. 
I could select that using the criteria down here, but I've actually got an existing system view for that. So I'm going to use that, and as you can see, it puts the criteria in the window automatically. I then click Next. I've got the option of giving this job a name. CRM gives it a default name, including the record type and the date that's being run, and I'll just leave it as that. I can then tell the job when to start. This can be useful if the job is quite large, so if there's a lot of records in your system for the job to check, it can slow the system down, so you may want to schedule it outside of regular business hours. However, I'm just going to get this to run immediately. I can also set the job to run automatically on a regular basis. If I tick that box here, it says run this job after every however many days, and you've got the option of it being 7, 30, 90, 180, or 365. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to make this a one-off job. The last thing I can do is I can say, send me an email once the duplicate detection job is run. And I can also optionally send it to someone else who's a user in the system. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to send it to me. I click next and then I submit my job. And you can see here that the job has appeared in the list of duplicate detection jobs already in the system. It runs through a number of statuses. starts off by waiting for resources, which we can see there when we expand that column. If I refresh this now, the job has become succeeded. I can now go into the duplicate detection job and see what duplicates it has returned. So I simply open it up and I click View Duplicates. Now as I tick items in the top window, I see potential duplicates in the bottom window. If I decide that they are indeed genuine duplicates, I can merge the records together by clicking Merge, this Merge button here. And it will bring those records together, making the top record the master record, and the bottom record will become inactive. I've got the option of merging records automatically, or selecting the master. If I select the master record, that brings up a window asking me which record to select as the master, either Tailspin Toys or Contoso Pharmaceuticals. Now I can manually select which records to maintain from which, which fields to maintain from which record. Or alternatively, I can scroll to the bottom and tick this box which selects all fields with data. So if some of the fields had some data, some of the fields in one of the records had some data, and other fields in the other record had data, it would automatically pick the one that had data. If they both have data, it picks the master record. I click OK, and it merges the records together. So that's it for a quick overview of duplicate detection. There is more to this topic, but that's pretty good for starters. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, please take a look at our other videos. And please feel free to contact Adaptable Solutions via their website, by email or by phone. Happy CRMing everyone.